Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 23rd of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, European numbers this morning, the uh, European session FTSE down uh, quite heavily today, uh, hitting a pivot low of 7132 at one time, uh, down uh, 0.6%. The DAX certainly lower as well, CAC 40 lower as well on the back of a stronger euro. Uh, the sell-off certainly has been triggered in Asia. We have the uh, Nikkei down overnight by, uh, by 250 points, down 1.3% uh, as the yen starts to surge along with the euro and uh, GBP USD. In terms of the uh, Shanghai, it actually finished higher, 0.4%. Okay. Now, the story certainly seems to be triggered by Mr. Trump. Okay. Uh, certainly uh, seems to be uh, obviously triggered by Mr. Trump's anti-trade rhetoric, his protectionist uh, rant uh, that was uh, uh, certainly uh, initiated on the uh, day of the inauguration. And that certainly has been sending the US dollar lower. Now, if I bring up the chart of the US dollar, folks, bear with me. Do I have the dollar index? No, unfortunately, I don't have the dollar index here at the moment. Okay. Well, we'll leave that for now. I'll show you the chart of the Euro USD first of all. Okay, so 15 minute chart of the Euro USD, you had a, a thrust higher to 1.0750. Okay, if I bring up the chart of GBP USD as well. Okay, so you've had a thrust here on the daily chart. You can see we've taken out those highs of the previous highs. 60 minute chart, you can clearly see that we've uh, thrust higher to 1.245. Okay. Uh, so the um, given sterling was at 1.22 on a uh, Friday morning. So Mr. Trump's protectionist measures, his anti-trade rant, certainly has caused the dollar to fall, given the fact that obviously lack of faith in the dollar is uh, so-called uh, fiscal uh, measures that will obviously reflate the uh, the actual uh, market itself and therefore leading to a stronger dollar, etc., etc. Certainly has gone into rewind, okay? That has sent euro currency, sterling currency and the Japanese yen higher as well causing the USD JPY to fall below 114 and thereby obviously triggering risk aversion in the in the Nikkei and uh, FTSE 100 certainly suffering as well due to a stronger sterling and given the fact also obviously uh, anti-trade equals anti-growth and therefore that's going to be a major concern as well okay given his uh, volatile nature now that he's actually in power no longer Mr Obama okay so again that's going to be risk off uh, especially with the Nikkei down as well and therefore looking for risk aversion now uh, we have had the uh, German Bundesbank talk about a potential 2% uh, target or not 2% or uh, inflation reaching 2% sorry okay and therefore that's keeping the euro afloat as well to a large extent even with weaker retail sales on Friday from the UK uh, sterling certainly not keeping uh, well sterling staying lower due to the fact that the dollar obviously is starting to uh, to move lower so again, that certainly is a cause for concern, okay, in terms of the uh, the actual market itself. Uh, and that certainly seems to be the theme today. Asian markets lower, led by Mr. Trump's, uh, obviously, uh, rhetoric. And given the fact that he's a volatile individual, okay, you have no idea what's coming next, that alone is risk aversion or risk off, okay. So looking at the uh, German DAX, starting off from a technical perspective, uh, the key resistance at the level of 11650 certainly has has held thus far 60 minute chart you are holding this key gap fill resistance at 11650 the pivot high is 11690 so bear that in mind we have had a pivot we have had a pivot low this morning at 11510 obviously we've started to reverse now uh, from my perspective you are now coming into resistance that fib 75 percent resistance and therefore bias certainly remains bearish from here it's very unlikely that we're going to see gap fill due to like i stated mr trump's rhetoric okay so bear that in mind in terms of the french cac Daily chart certainly remains vulnerable, although you do have some support on this region here. 60 minute chart at present, uh, you have this key HS formation. So, again, you have the unfilled gap below at 4760, and that certainly will come into play. You are still making a series of low lows and low highs, so therefore be cautious on the French CAC. Are we going to close the gap? No, uh, from my understanding and my uh, interpretation of uh, fundamentals, given the fact that we had the Asian markets lower overnight and cause of concerns regarding Trump, etc. Although we have thrust uh, reversed quite impressively, okay, and that's mainly due to the fact that Draghi remains dovish and he is due to speak today. So certainly keep an eye on that as well, okay? Uh, so again, looking for gap fill resistance if that comes, and that certainly is an opportunity there to short the uh, French gang, so bear that in mind. Although we have reversed quite sharply from 4800 this morning. FTSE 100, okay, we are looking to target that gap. I currently have an active trade, stop losses around 7182. 
Okay, I currently have an active trade on this bear flag formation, looking for gap fill to close below at 7116. It's now or never in terms of gap fill closing. And given the fact that um, Sterling certainly has reached a lofty heights of 1.2450, uh, commodities certainly remaining in, in obviously uh, um, under pressure. Uh, Mr. Trump's rhetoric as well, as well, and therefore looking for risk aversion. We do have the uh, potential uh, Brexit outcome tomorrow as well with regards to the court case. That certainly will be interesting, and Miss Miss May certainly speaking as well. So keep an eye on that. Okay. So bear flag formation in the FTSE, it's all about gap fill below at 7116. If you do continue to thrust high, then you are going to be capped at 7195 and 7220. And then we have pivot R3 around the 7250 zone. So they are the key levels to potentially short as well. Okay, and on the uh, FTSE 100 itself. Daily chart of the FTSE, like I said, we're just consolidating. Uh, previous support equals resistance at 7190. Looking to either retest the low at 7132 or potentially close the gap at 7116. So again, risk aversion, that certainly remains the uh, the theme, okay? In terms of the Euro stocks, let's just quickly look at this for you as well. Again, this is a trade that I'm potentially short right now, looking for a potential retest at 3260. Okay, certainly stalling here at the Fib 6, 61, 50% resistance. You have the unfilled gap above, it's very unlikely you're going to close that gap given the weakness in Asia overnight and obviously Mr. Trump's comments too. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.